Hey, well, now, you know, it is National Grilled Cheese Day tomorrow, but we're going to get a head start and celebrate the ultimate comfort food today by taking it up a notch. We're going to pair it with wine. Which is so smart. Mm -hmm. Here with some special versions of this classic is Mackenzie Smith, founder of GrilledCheeseSocial.com. Hey, lady. Hi, guys. <laughs> we, everybody loves grilled cheese. Yeah. It's true. And I love how you came up with grilled cheese and wine. So give Thank us some you. examples and we'll do the pairings. Okay, okay. so we're going to start with the brunch grilled cheese. This one has uh, fried chicken tossed in hot sauce with a fenugreek gouda. And, um, it's a waffle. Wow. Yeah, it's a waffle. So it's like the best of both worlds. But this gonna... is called what? There's a special name for oh, this. Oh, the Bushwick Painkiller. <laughs> okay, the Bushwick Painkiller. So you've had many a night out, right? Yes. And then this is what you had to cure your hangover. Yeah, it's perfect. The grease cuts the hangover in half, and bubbles actually go really, really, really nicely with fried chicken. Really? Yeah, so we're going to pair it with uh, the Domaine Carneros. Um, organic sparkling wine. Oh, it's organic, so we can try it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. We John, here you to go. go green. Yeah, we're going green. Can, may we try yeah, this please, one? Yeah, please. Okay, perfect. So I'll give this a shot. Okay. And I, you have to pair it with the wine. So. Definitely. Mm. So the fenugreek gouda has this really nice maple flavor. Wow. It's actually what they use to flavor artificial maple syrup. And this yeah. is a waffle. Yeah. Mm. You know, if you were to say, your mouth <laughs> is expecting your mom's grilled cheese sandwich, this is so much more. You know what I like? The heat. Just yeah. a little kick. Just a kick. The spice kind of balances out the sweetness. So it's oh my really gosh. Nice. Wow. Wow, this is fantastic. And yeah. now you're also going to show us how to make another grilled yeah, cheese. Yeah, so here. the next one we're going to do is called the Pleasure Pasture. Mm -hmm. And it features uh, Wisconsin leek and morel uh, jack cheese, candied garlic, broiled tomatoes, and underground butcher's goat salami. Oh right my gosh. Right here on the ingredients. Yeah, so we're going to make it. Actually, you guys can make it. Okay, fantastic. well, I'm double fisting here with my <laughs> cheese sandwich. And here, let here. me put this down. Right. Then, uh, okay. mm -hmm. Oh, no, I don't want to give it back, though. I want that. Okay, yeah. perfect. So now, wh how do we get it started? Do we have to use okay. butter on this? So this is pretzel rolls, which is really fun. Really good. When you're making a grilled cheese, you always want to, like, spice it up. You know, you can use regular bread whenever. So we're going to go ahead and do some pretzel rolls. Okay, so, so use that. You can that. do a layer of the Wisconsin Leek and Morel Jack. Okay, John, you just keep drinking. I'll do <laughs> this over here. These pretzel rolls are everywhere. So can we yeah. do, really can I do, is that now. too much That's cheese? Never. Never too much never. cheese. Never. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then some of the broiled tomatoes. Okay, broiled tomatoes which I think will add a little bit of fun there yes. a little sure. unexpected you want to take it up a notch, yeah girl, John you just you just go ahead and keep, keep drinking that Carneros mm. brew. and then you're gonna do the candied garlic and the goat salami candied garlic now where did you come up with this this um, is candied garlic yeah, candied just garlic. one random yeah. night Candy. Wow. what but are you drinking at night that you come up with these wow. things my god a lot of stuff well I need to go to the bar with stuff. you okay and then what else do I add this to is it? the underground butcher goat salami goat salami um okay. yeah so this is like a really bold sandwich you can think of it as earthy flavor Flavors, which pairs really, really, really nicely with this bold Cabernet. Okay, it's oh, from, with a Cabernet. Yeah, it's from St. Francis Vineyards. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so, so we're going to go ahead and grill this. this. Is this like a panini maker? You yes. Just use yeah, a regular? What, mm -hmm. Don't you put okay. butter on it or you just yeah, put she, it? Yeah, she already, she already, already did it. it. Yeah. Well, don't burn yourself, Okay, I'm not, I know. This is very a BAM good. show. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we already have some made, so if you guys want to try this. So then we Let's try this with right the, the and this is with the Cabernet. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. now I've never tried goat cheese. What is, or no, goat salami. It's underground goat cheese with salami of the candy something or other. Yeah, so the Wisconsin cheese. And this actually... Yeah, it's great, right? I'm no longer vegan. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, well, St. Francis is actually doing a grilled cheese contest. Um, it launches tomorrow. You can find it through their Facebook page. And all you have to do is create, like, a really cool recipe and then pair it with one of your favorite St. Francis The wine wines. is doing a grilled cheese sandwich yes, contest. Yes, a grilled cheese sandwich contest. Well, it's a pairing contest. A pairing contest. Yeah. But the sandwich, wait, ooh, look at there. It's like this perfect. This is dynamite. <laughs> It's great, right? Oh my gosh. The candy garlic kind of gives it a nice crunch and the broiled tomatoes, a little sweetness to balance out the The earthy. candied garlic is the mm. unexpected, like, MVP in yeah, the sandwich. You totally Honestly, tried some I've own never own tried, tried that really before. Fun. The sausage is great This is too, really, really good. They okay. make the best sausage. And now finally, you did bring us a dessert grilled cheese. Is that yes. correct? Yes. This is my baby. But wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, there's so more. This is the blueberry this baby? This is the blueberry baby. Okay. So it's got Wisconsin mascarpone, which is really sweet. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, some brie, and then I made blistered blueberries with just some chopped basil. And it, it's pairing with the Chardonnay. Well, let's try it. Yeah, please. Okay, okay so let me put this down here. This is the blueberry baby. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm sorry, remind me, this is a Wisconsin... Uh, mascarpone and Wisconsin brie. And then this St. Francis Chardonnay is really nice. It's um, really nicely balanced. It's not oaky, which a lot of people 
are not into for no. Chardonnays. No, so, Jill, come in here and try some yeah, of these. Yeah, come try oh, some. Gosh. Are all of these uh, recipes on your on your uh, website? They're all on my website. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, good lord, this a is ton really of websites, good. and I have a book coming out next year, a comic book. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. It'll be really fun. Oh my goodness. Isn't that great, so right? good? This is fantastic. The blueberry. Oh yeah. Wow. This this thank you. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Thank yeah. you so much, Mackenzie Smith. Thank and you guys. for all the recipes, how to enter the competition, just log on to our website, wlnytv.com slash the couch. And thank you so much for bringing this feast for us today. This is awesome. Cheers. Well, I, cheers I, to I you. I can't even <laughs> spell some of these cheers. cheeses that you found. What, oh, what am I supposed to drink with this one again? Grilled I'm cheeses. The, I'm the St. Francis Show. There you go. Cheers. Oh, yes. Awesome. Well, that does it for us today. Enjoy your weekend. It's going to be beautiful out, I think, tomorrow, right? We've already started our weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Thank Happy you so Friday. much. Thank you. Thank you.